Well, this place is relaxing. We just need to quietly ignore the corpse in the corner and everything's fine. Mom, the wall's melting. That's probably fine. What are you doing? Alia. Pius Augustus. Welp. Oh, that's the statue I cut in half. That was actually of him the whole time? Oh. I think I'm gonna be... Are these like a series of sacrifices? I don't think Ellie is coming back. <laughs> I thought we were gonna be like... <coughs> I thought we might establish like four characters through history and then jump back and forth between them, but now I'm thinking that like maybe... Everyone tends to die during their chapter. Those are some stock sound screams. Oh, the floor is screaming. That's definitely not good. Anyway... Cradled in what appears to be a leather, leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with it, shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness? Yeah! What could go wrong? Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. Alright. Found an evil Lovecraft book, and there's a corpse over here, but Charlemagne is still inaccessible. We can't just raise him under the assumption of emergency. I can't leave yet? Wait, was I supposed to keep going upstairs? Was that a vision? Is that why there was a melt transition? Yeah, I think the melting was a vision. That whole place isn't actually here. A blue urn rests upon the shelf. Just thought I'd steal that on a whim. Seems fun. A mysterious gold medallion rests upon the desk. Circles of power describe the amount of power that a spell will have. We can cast spells? A little bit of a late bloomer on that topic, aren't we? The more points within the circle, the stronger the spell will be. Spells are magical incantations that enhance a character's natural abilities. The spell list is an inventory of all the spell information that has been acquired. It will allow the player to select which spells to cast, examine, or assign to convenient quick spell buttons. I guess now all those other buttons that aren't getting used are going to have a purpose all of a sudden. Oops, sorry. I thought I was getting a message. So, uh, selecting this will allow the player to experiment with the rune combinations and discover new spells. So we can make new ones. Runes. This this section is an inventory of all the components of magical spells you've acquired. Quick spell. With this function, the player can review their current assignment of spells to the quick spell buttons. Hmm. Wonder if it's anything like tyranny, where you get a bunch of different components and then mix them all together into spells. I don't have any components though. I have a rune. There's three points in the rune. Oh, 
I don't seem to be able to do anything here. Is the plot twist that I don't actually have anything to cast yet? I just thought they'd introduce that for later. I keep getting the chance to examine notes, but not to read them? Like, am I crazy? It lets me look at the note, but like, not look at the note. Why do they, why do they keep giving me camera angles to look at tabletops? I'm a little paranoid that I'm somehow failing to read them correctly. A bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on a set of shelves. Mostly books of a religious nature. They sit beneath a skine of dust. As if no one has touched them. Probably because no one's touched them. Amongst the tomes and manuscripts, a book brings attention to itself. Oddly pristine on the dusty shelf, it doesn't quite belong. It looks, it looks cleaner because people kept touching it. Huh. Um... The mummies keep getting weirder. That one has a spinning symbol inside of its translucent body. Of course. Just keep swinging until his head comes off. A magic rune. Do I attack by throwing knives down at my enemy? Runes are the key element in creating spells. By collecting and combining runes in different ways, different spells can be created. Now I have two whole runes. Or not. Huh. Oh, wow. He just throws the knife! That's kind of badass. Dude, everyone's just dying in one hit now. It's, it also seems that this character has a much larger sanity meter than the previous one did. That was a fast melt. <laughs> I've acquired a torch. Let's fuck him up! Go on, get! You're welcome. Grateful for his life, the monk tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn from the baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop, who was brandishing a large blade and whose eyes burned with an evil fire. Frightened, the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop had left behind. With thanks, he gives the bishop's sword to Anthony. I keep getting more weapons. How will I even know what to do with all these? Maybe that's the correct one for the door in the, the year 2000. A piece of broken green urn. Piece of broken green urn. Mix. So you can combine two items. Two thirds of a broken green urn. Very Resident Evil there. But where's the final third? Is it this thing on the ground here? Yep. I have assembled a broken green urn. That's... Have you, though? Those pieces don't even look like they fit together. That one weird, like, really zigzaggy one doesn't fit at all. I don't know if I fully believe him. I definitely haven't successfully put it together or anything. The monk ambles around nervously, as if half expecting the demonic bishop to return at any moment. Yeah. Probably. 
Here comes your death. Do 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 do. You're gonna die any minute now. A carved stone tablet lies on the stone floor. A magical codex. Is that also an element of all this? The runes cannot be understood without a codex. Without a codex, runes in your possession will remain a mystery. So now I can finally learn what this... No? I only know what this rune is, which I don't have yet, I guess. Magormore. This is a lot of preemptive steps to almost being able to cast spells, but not really. Hello. Owned. I guess now I know what that is. Oop. Oh. I thought that this would correlate with this. Because that just seemed like how the, the interface was being set up. But no, the codex or the rune will occupy a space. But then once I have both, it gets shiny. I still can't actually do a spell yet, right? I think he's been getting paler in each room. Oh yeah, he doesn't look good at all. You're a wreck. He's gonna explode. A slab of etched stone sits on the pedestal. Probably stop reading really basic things all the time. Shatulga. I should probably just quietly pick things up when I find them and accept that. A red urn. It's filled. A disturbing rendition of a monstrous devil. It is contorted into what appears to be a fountain. What sickly liquid is this, draining into the pool, trickling from a scum-encrusted spout? I was just gonna assume water, but if you're gonna be dramatic about it... My walking animation's also looking, like, more... unusual. An aged tapestry hangs on the wall. It is soiled from the dank atmosphere of the room and the corruption around it. That other one burned hilariously fast. Yep. Also, that one zombie when he was burning in the cutscene definitely made like a T-Rex sound. Like the stock sounds that they use for dinosaurs in shows, not a skeleton. Dude, one hot, one hit, one kill, MLG. This guy's got this down. It's really unfortunate that, that that other monk clearly used the weakness of these guys and just attacked them, but then dropped it immediately and I had to come and save him. Like, he could have been like, oh, I know this. Religious texts of an unspeakable nature, written in languages utterable only by monsters or corrupt humans. Very Lovecraftian. I don't know what about a human being corrupted makes them suddenly be able to pronounce things differently, but that's uh, normal to Lovecraft is this... Oop. I think that wall over there is bleeding. There's often a discussion of these unpronounceable names, like most of the things like Cthulhu were all supposed to be some kind of unpronounceable name. Religious texts... Amongst the books on the table rests an ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. <gasps> paper? Ooh, enchant item spell scroll. Through this function, the player can examine the contents of each spell scroll that has been acquired. 
A torn scroll, illustrated with a geometric symbol, is accompanied by a small note. The note reads, That which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. This spell requires an Antorbach and Mag Magormor runes. Very pronounceable, obviously. Okay. So... I thought maybe he'd create spells, but that's a little ambitious. Like in Tyranny. So Magmormor, Antorbach. So I have those two elements now. Which means I should be able to, to cast Enchant Item. Which I guess would make your... Uh, on top of fixing stuff like last chapter, it should also make it possible to... See, how do I sign? I don't understand. I'm not understanding this screen so far. So I have the items, but I can't spend them. Hmm. I don't see how to use the repair spell. Those walls are definitely bleeding. Like I can't, I can't make it a hotkey? The assign button's blacked out. Bishop. The bishop passed through the secret door. There has to be a way to get through it. I have to put something on the pressure plate, presumably. Do I have any something? Oh. The broken urn, the filled red urn. So this is full. Oh. Though the urn appears to sit correctly in place on the pressure plate, it does not appear to be heavy enough to depress it. So now it's gonna go off. oh yeah. Okay, how did he get in? I gotta stop stepping on this. So the blue urn is not full, but I can't fill the green urn unless I repair it. Fragments of a broken urn piece together to form a crude hole. Deep cracks mar its structure, and while it is almost complete, it is far from watertight. Perhaps it can be repaired. Somehow. Yes. Somehow. I wonder how one might accomplish such a thing. Oh well, the world may never know. How the how the fuck do you cast spells? I can't research. I can't click on this. Like I can't D-pad or hit Y to like assign it. What am I missing? Covered with arcane artifacts and texts, this table reflects the unholy presence within the church. A seething pit of, in of iniquity and evil. Evil. Yes, but how do I do thing? The main thing that comes to mind is I must have, like, somehow just missed a spell component somewhere. 
Because they say I can't research new spells. Ah, oh. While fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing itself into fragments as it hits the floor. Oh. It was in the urn. Finally. So I, I still need Chaturga, apparently? Okay, I thought we had- I thought I just said I needed Magmaron and Anterbook. That was confusingly framed. Okay. Let's assign... Spells can be cast directly from this book section, or assigned to one of the five quick spell slots. The magic meter? So now we have three meters. It regenerates whenever the character is in motion. That's specific. Oh. So I'm, like ass I'm assigning which of those things it gets cast with or something? I use that circle of power. Select alignment. Huh. Am I doing evil magic? Am I gonna lose my mind for this? Is that what's happening here? I mean, he's already not looking great, let's be honest. You ever sell part of your soul so you could push a pressure plate down? Yeah. Dunking the urn into the foul-smelling fountain, it becomes filled to the brim with rank fluid. It's a lot heavier now, and rife with f but, uh, Just gonna blow right past that word and not question it too much. Dunking the urn into the foul-smelling fitter. What do these words mean? It's fine. He has a very slow hobble right now. There we go. We made progress. I feel like they made that a little more confusing than it had to be. It was mainly just the part where they kept introducing spell elements one by one, and it kept sounding like you could do it now. It's like, no, you can't do it now. Can't do it now? No, you can't do it now. But like, all along I wasn't quite clear on why I couldn't do it yet sometimes. Just because only, only by the end of the process do you really understand what, how it all works. You're like, oh, that's why it didn't work in that stage, and 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 that stage. And that stage. Obviously. So, you have come to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. Oh god. He doesn't care about fire. <sighs> Equip. Cast. On sword to make it stronger. Yeah! Chop his head off. Chop his stupid head off. He's draining my sanity. Stop it. Oh, there goes his head. You didn't need that, did you? Huh? I'm being gnawed upon. I hope I'm hitting him because I can't see him. I think I got him. Let's uh, make sure this guy dies. There we go. Just head, head that whole process off, really. 
You endangered my sanity. It is really funny that I just fucking- I was just decking him with a torch that was lit, accomplishing nothing. He's like, ow, ow, stop it. A shrine to a god that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. Not gonna lie, I kinda thought I was gonna just die. Dude, all this work just to warn Charlemagne. I could've just like knocked on the door and be like, Yo Charlemagne, uh, emergency. This is the least efficient approach. Oh, I'm definitely a zombie. Okay. Hut! Wow, they're getting destroyed. My enchanted thing is really powerful. Ow, rude. Oh, head's freaking out a little bit. I don't think he's gonna have a good time. I'm just surprised he survived. Based on how characters have been going so far, when he was like, I will give you a, a short death, like... In video games, I'm usually used to the idea that like, oh, it's a, he'll, he'll be fine. I mean... Like, you just kind of get are used to that being a, an empty threat, because your protagonist always w works out. But in, in this game... I'm used to playing a character for about 25 minutes and then they die or are cursed forever or something. I'm like, oh, here he goes, the inevitable. I, I don't think it's going to end well for him still, but I honestly thought he was just going to get, like, lasered right there in the hallway like she did. What is that? It's like a chameleon scorpion. Die. Oh. What? What? Is it time to play Mario Party? The Trapper Dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast and humans are subjected to odd phenomena. The portals cycle from color to color as time progresses and only the quick will escape. What? <laughs> This came out of fucking nowhere, didn't it? So there's little... chameleon... scorpion things that are... I guess they're called trappers? And they catch you in a little portal? Uh, I don't really know what my goal is. Do I want to touch this? I guess that refills my health. So which purple portal will I go- that one? Okay. This is a lot of purple portals here. Am I here because I died? Is this like Prey? The first one that people didn't like as much? Because in that game when you die you go to a weird dimension where you- okay. I don't think he killed me. That was... That was odd. <laughs>